All right, this week we have hit the jackpot weather-wise so far, haven't we? Even if we haven't won the Mega Millions? <laughs> yes. We got our own jackpot. It's our, it's our consolation That's prize. Right. We win. <laughs> win something. Let's get a look at our first alert forecast. Yeah. Lonnie Quinn standing by. Guys, it's been beautiful, like you said. All work week. I mean, it's just great. The weekend was great. Granted, Saturday was hot, but then once you get to Sunday, things really got into this run of weather that has just been beautiful. Beautiful night as well. Checking out on the temperatures right now. Comes in at 70 degrees. All right, skies overhead are clear. You're going to clip off about, yeah, it's going to be three degrees. But I'm about down to about 67 for an overnight low. But it's clear. It's quiet. All right, it's a nice night out there. This morning, you were 64, sort of a cooler start out there. Similar tomorrow, maybe three degrees warmer. 49 early this morning up in Monticello. 49, right? By the afternoon, it's 83 degrees. It's a warm and breezy day. It's a sun and cloud mix. It's not as great a day tomorrow as we, had to, as we had today, but it's not a terrible day. I think this day is okay out there. There's a slight chance for some rain, maybe a little bit of a bump up in the humidity level, a better chance for rain's gonna be on Friday. But for tomorrow, it's a slight chance, sort of spotty. It's not a 0% chance. You're gonna see some rain out there, but it's not the type of thing where we're gonna be setting alerts or anything like that. Here's what we're looking at. We're looking at a good sky right now. A couple of leading edge clouds starting to creep into the area. Bigger picture is gonna show you the dynamics. Got a batch of rain up here around the Great Lakes. Another batch of rain here around St. Louis in between. A high pressure system, which gave us that beautiful day today. Well, it's gonna work really hard to give us another good day tomorrow. It doesn't win out entirely. You will watch some of this rain from the north get into the area. All right, it's not overwhelming. But there's a rain chance out there, especially in the afternoon hours. Not a whole lot of it. Now we're going to make our way into Friday. Friday morning we thought could be unsettled, but really that high pressure does its last favor for us and keeps the rain out by Friday morning, but by Friday afternoon, well, now it's kind of done with that battle because we are watching that cold front make its way into the area. This is 4 p.m., nipping at our northern suburbs. There's Ulster County right there. And then you go from 4 to 6.30. It's now encroaching upon the metro area, stretching from Litchfield County over towards Warren County. But look at the signature. This is key. So often I talk to you about a vertically stacked storm. I say, boy, this storm is staying straight up and down. This is not straight up and down. Those can have a real big punch. This is sort of laid down on a nice diagonal here, moves through kind of quickly, passes through the city about 830, stretching across Long Island, over towards portions of the Jersey Shore, and then out of here. And really, it looks like a good looking day on Saturday. So we've issued a yellow alert for Friday because of that rain, but I want to be real clear on this. It's a marginal risk by the Storm Prediction Center and the National Weather Service. Marginal risk is a 10% chance. That's why this is a yellow alert for Friday, not a red alert. You know, before you get there, Thursday, a pretty good looking day with a late shower chance at 83. We talked about Friday's yellow alert. Saturday, Sunday, rebounds pretty nicely. I remember the start of this week, I was saying, ah, it didn't look like a good day for Saturday. Sunday looks nicer. I think both days. Very full good. Full steam ahead. We like that. Thank Let's you, Bonnie.